when I was 20, 28, 29, I'm 34 now. I was playing basketball. Just like any other day going to play basketball. And last thing I, re I remember, I was, I think, jumping up for a rebound. And lights out. The next thing I remember, I was on the ground waking up almost as if someone jump started me. Very weird. It's like I woke up like a computer and I slowly came back and, you know, people crowded over me and ambulance came and they took me to the hospital. The doctors were saying, you know, not good news. You know, congestive heart failure and all this craziness. And, you know, me, I didn't know what to say, what to do, what was going on. I had to deal with that, you know. 29 year old, new dad, just had twin boys. I had to deal with that, you know. That's not always the easiest stuff you wanna hear. You can't play basketball anymore. You can't do this anymore. You gotta choose this type of diet. We don't know what's going on. We don't know, I mean, is it generational or something? Or we don't know. To this day, they still don't know. But this is what I did and it was, you know, Faith Without Works is dead. This is what I did. It was a, a struggle. I started just buckling down on just preachers. Preachers who didn't just preach, but they also taught. I see a lot of preachers and they they preach to you, but they don't teach you anything. That's why when people go to get healed and delivered, they get, they're right back in the same mess because they haven't learned how to fight. So, you know, I, you know, I would just listen for hours and hours and hours how to be healed and what God expects. Is, is it God's will to heal? And um, I want the answers. I was like, you know, it's in the Bible. Why am I suffering? Why do I still feel weak and all this and that and the third? Um, I would go to preachers and tell them about my condition. Hey, the doctor said this, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want this. I pray for me. And, you know, and a lot of them that pray for me, nothing happened. You know, I'm not the type of guy that lie. I don't, I don't have time to lie to you. I don't have time to be um, uh, extra or exaggerate. Some preachers, they touch me and prayed over me it didn't work and i'm thinking well hold on i thought you lay your hands on me i'll be healed but then some preachers i never forget this one preacher in my church he touched me he prayed over me and i'm telling you for like two or three days two or three days i felt so good i feel like i run a marathon didn't feel weak at all or anything like that nothing whatsoever i felt great but it went away and i'm like well hold on and the Bible said, once you heal, you stay healed. But he would pray for me and, and it went away. And then I started li learning some more, listening to, listening to more tapes. And I, you know, I figured out that God wants me to stand, alone, stand on my own. He wants me to learn how to fight. He wants me to learn how to fight infirmities. So I started tapping into my authority that God gave me. And I, command, I started commanding the sickness to leave. And when it came, I, I, did, I didn't take it. I said, no, you're not putting that on me. I would quote scriptures. God said, my, I said, my body runs in accordance with 1 Peter 2, 24. Jesus Christ took away my infirmities. He bore my sicknesses on the cross and by his stripes I'm healed and made whole. I would start quoting, you can't take that. I bind and rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I commanded to go. Man, it didn't go. I was still feeling weak. Still my, 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 I was having irregular heartbeats. It didn't go. I mean, one week, my wife went out of town for a week. And I stayed at the house. I was, I was a little bit better than I was originally when it first happened, but I was at war the entire week. I mean, I would feel weak and my heart would fluster and I was just commanded to go. I start uh, quoting scriptures. I get close to the word. And I, I know that I started getting stronger. My faith started to increase because how does your faith increase? You know, it increases when you get more word in you. It increases when you use the word, when you tell it to leave. There were, then it started, I was getting stronger. It started times when I was just walking around the block and something happened. I said, nope, in the name of Jesus, I command you to go. And I'm telling you that thing would just leave. And I was thinking like, 
can this happen? Like I was in, I was believing, but now I was like, do we have that much authority that we can command sickness to leave at a spiritual level that controls the physical being, that controls the soul being, which is our mind? I was flabbergasted. I guess that's the best way. I was like, I can't believe that God has given us authority and so many people don't know it. And I just started reading more and more and getting familiar. And I found out that God's word is like medicine to our, our body. So what I do every day, I, I, never, I never forget I had a vision. And the vision, actually the doctors never know what I had. They said I had some, type, some form of heart attack, but, and they still do research. Like I'm a guinea pig, like they just don't know. But in my vision I had, it was a preacher that came to me. He said, if anybody who had a heart attack should be saying those words, saying God's words every day. And then I woke up. If anybody who had a heart attack should be saying God's words every day. I was like, what? So this is what I started doing. I, I went on this and I'll put this link below. And you guys, whoever have sicknesses or anything, it's like 31 healing scriptures. I, it's like one for every day, but I say it. I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I say I'm pretty much all every day. If I, if things are worse, because the te the devil will try to attack you. If things are worse, or if things come on me, I say them twice a day. And you can't overdose. You know what I mean? I just I just keep saying it's just more powerful. I get more word on, word in me. If I feel weak or something, or, or something's trying to come back on me, I get in the word. I say it more because that's how you build your faith up, and that's how you maintain it. But yeah, I'll never forget that dream and telling me just uh, I should be saying his words every day. So I went to this website called Jesus Jesus Folk and there's 31 healing scriptures and I say it every day. Sometimes I'm, I, I would feel bad and I say those words, words and I feel good because you know in Proverbs, I, I forgot the exact verse. It said God's word is like a medicine to all our flesh. When you start believing that and you start applying that, then it starts to work for you. But God, one thing I've noticed, he, he didn't just work. He just he didn't just work uh, work on my spiritual aspect of it. No, I got a word from when I was praying. I was speaking in tongues. He said, "This is what I want you to do. This is your key. God gives you a specific key. Not everything I say. I'm just kind of giving you like fundamentals. But he gave me a, a specific key. He said this. Um, he said, "I want you to stay steered up for me, and I want you to exercise." I said, okay, I bought a stationary bike and I just, I'm on that bike almost every day for years. Look guys, I'm, that was four or five years ago. I'm out walking, talking, I run. I just did like a little um, field day for adults. We got in second place. I'm doing what I want to do. Uh, I feel great. I feel blessed. I'm totally healed. And that's how you gotta, that's how you, you have to be aggressive towards your sickness. And I see all these people with cancer and, and all these all these major issues, arthritis, it hurts me sometimes, but you gotta wanna be healed. God says, um, he says, it's his will for you to be healed. And some people are like, oh man, I don't believe that. Oh, he, he, no, you gotta know it without a shadow of a doubt and don't let it come. Even if it's gonna try to come back on you, it always is. Don't think I'm, oh, I'm healed and the devil's not gonna try to test you because he will, but you gotta be prepared and use the word of God against it. That's uh, my little short testimony for you guys. I might make a longer video of it, kind of showing you guys how to get free and, and stay free. That's the major thing, staying free. God bless you guys. You have a good day.